Ever since I started the setup montage series, I've actually been catching up on the submissions for the main show. And we're kind of running out of submissions, guys. I've already caught up to October of this year. So if you're watching this video and still haven't submitted your setup, or let's say you submitted your setup the past year and still didn't get featured, please either resubmit those uh, submissions or take brand new pictures and submit those as well. The link to the instru instructions are down below. Make sure you guys click on it and watch and submit your setup because I have lots and lots of space coming up very soon. Anyways, with that said, welcome to Setup Wars episode 128. Let the Setup Wars begin. Starting off the episode is Antonio and somehow he forgot to send in the gear list so I'm just gonna have to wing it. First up we got the monitors, a flat panel ultrawide from LG and a standard 1080p one from Asus. This is actually the only practical setup featuring another ultrawide because the smaller Asus monitor isn't too far off. Now if there were two ultrawides side by side then I would say that it's not practical. I can't tell what mechanical keyboard he's rocking because of the angle, but the mouse is the SteelSeries Rival 100 because I actually used the yellow one for the Wolverine setup and I actually really love that mouse. I also know the speakers he's using because I've seen it a hundred times on the show, they are the popular Bose Companion 2 speakers. The other audio gear he's using are a pair of Bose QuietComfort 15 headphones and the Blue Snowball Ice microphone. The PC that's powering the setup looks pretty good. Sadly, I can't tell you the specs, but it looks like he's using an MSI GTX 970 with 8 gigs of RAM. And finally, the cable management on his setup is amazing. Excellent work grouping everything together and mounting it underneath the desk. This is what I love to see. Normally, I would recommend a cable box for that power strip that's just sitting on the ground, but it's not that conspicuous, so not a big deal. The Captain America posters and the figurines on the setup are a nice touch, and I'm liking the soothing LED lights from the RGB strip and the IKEA lamps. A pretty solid setup that actually works, thank you Antonio for entering. This next setup from Carlos is a very interesting one because not only is it our very first setup that's actually built inside of a closet or storage room, but it also has a very unique theme. His occupation is a building engineer and he's used some of those skills to custom build his setup from scratch. So the desk is actually a wood tabletop that's wrapped in metal with a glass top. It's about 7 feet long and 23 inches wide. He went with the honeycomb design on the face and the backboard and he also built two panels to conceal all the wires underneath the desk. I mean this dude built a bracket out of tubes and pipes to hold his Blu-ray player and modem. I mean that's pretty freaking cool. You have to look closely at his pictures to really appreciate the attention to detail that he has added to everything. For instance, he installed two floating glass shelves against the backboard that's holding up a bunch of his tech. On one side, we got the Blue Yeti microphone, the Harman Kardon sound sticks, and the Astro A40s, while the other side is holding up his iPad 2, Samsung S7 Edge, and other miscellaneous items. The monitor that he hooked up against the backboard is from Asus, and below that, he's rocking the Logitech G14 silver keyboard and the G903 wireless mouse. I love that the metal desk didn't stop him from drilling holes to wrap his keyboard and mouse wires through, very nice. He also has an extra display off to the right side which is hooked up to his PC as a second monitor. My favorite modification from this setup by far has to be the Superman logo with a built in switch to turn the lights on and off. I like it because not only am I a huge fan of Superman but it actually blends nicely with a steel box around it. I don't know if it was done intentionally because you know they call Superman the man of steel. I mean, it's obvious that Carlos is a fan of Superman as well, judging by the countless Superman-related stuff around his room, like the Superman rug, some posters, and even the writing underneath the desk. The PC that's powering the setup is actually a pre-built from Alienware that's equipped with a 4820K and two GTX 770s and SLI, but Carlos stated that he's actually going to be building a custom PC very soon. Once you're done building it, send me a picture uh, via Twitter, or you can even email it to me. I definitely want to check it out. I still can't get over how well the cable management is done. We got some cable sleeves, a dedicated power strip hooked up underneath the desk, and a bunch of cable clips and 3M tape to hide the cables behind the two panels that he built underneath the desk. Fantastic job. I absolutely love the creativity and the unique approach you took for this entire setup and the way that you tied in your engineering skills to your setup was just awesome. And it's actually one of the reasons why I'm going to be awarding you the seal 
of approval. And just as a reminder, anyone who receives the seal of approval will get $100 in cash, a TechSource t-shirt, and most importantly, which I think is the coolest prize, it's a custom-made plaque uh, with your name on it. This is actually for setup makeover, but you get something similar like this for the Setup Wars show with the actual seal of approval on here. So yeah, if you're watching this video and you wanna claim your prizes, please toss me an email. Congratulations again. So this next setup is actually a YouTuber and he found out about Setup Wars through my subscribers. Apparently a few of you or somebody uh, told him to submit his setup on my show and well, he did. I had a chance to check out a few of his videos and he seems like a very talented musician so I'll drop a link to his channel below to make sure you guys go over and show him some love and consider subscribing if you do enjoy his content. So this is his studio where he produces his music and videos for his YouTube channel and the occasional fap session. I mean, he did write that in his notes. I'm not even making this up. I mean, at least he's honest about it. So aside from his mountain of guitars hanging from the walls, he actually has a very clean setup. It is powered by a 2016 iMac and he's using the Apple keyboard, trackpad, and the Magic Mouse alongside the Razer Death Adder gaming mouse. I guess he games on the iMac as well, which is interesting. His audio game is definitely strong. He's rocking a pair of Yamaha HS5 studio monitors, an Axe FX preamp processor, and a few pieces of gear from native instruments. The cables behind the desk seem to be maintained nicely, no major complaints here. I really like how clean you kept your entire room, from the setup to the lounging area, and even the recording setup is nice and tidy. I'm also a huge fan of the Nanoleaf RGB panels that you've installed above your couch. Those are freaking awesome. I just wish they weren't so damn expensive. He even included a video showing off his lighting setup that he integrated with Alexa. Check this out. Hey Siri, make the studio red. Redness. Oh shit! A very nice music production setup. Thank you Cole for entering and good luck with your channel bud. At number four, we got Kaser and his heaven themed setup. I honestly don't think I've seen this much white in any setup. Holy cow. It looks like we have another YouTuber, actually a tech YouTuber. And as always, I'll drop a link to his channel below. So make sure you guys check him out. So this is the main setup for editing videos while the setup behind him is purely for gaming. He even has a console set up next to his PC, so this guy has the best of both worlds. The first setup is being powered by a 2015 27-inch iMac with the Apple keyboard and Logitech MX Master 2S mouse. Uh, for audio, he's rocking the Audio-Technica AT4040 microphone that's hooked up to his Focusrite audio interface, which by the way is skinned in some white carbon fiber. And we also got a pair of M50Xs also in white to match the color scheme. I like that Kaser placed both his speakers on the sides of his desk by using the jam stands and I'm a fan of that motivational art that he printed himself above his setup. I'm sure at this point we can deduce that his cable management is on point, not just for his productivity setup, but for everything else in his room. And this over here is the second setup and it's purely for gaming. It's being powered by 7700K and the EVGA GTX 1080 Ti FTW3 which is the GPU I'm gonna be using in my own personal PC. The monitor of choice is none other than the Acer Predator X34 Ultrawide, and below that, he's added a wireless soundbar from Vizio. But check this out, guys. Look at where he mounted those two speakers up top. This is actually a very clever way of mounting your speakers above your desk in case you don't have any space. I've seen so many people put their speakers sideways underneath a monitor or even behind a monitor just because there isn't any space on the desk. And this is actually a pretty cool hack that you can do if you're in the same situation. So he basically used a tablet mount and clamped the speaker on one end and then connected the other end to his desk, as you guys can see from below. Obviously, this might not work with most speakers, but it's worth trying out if you're having similar issues with your speakers. Cable management is pretty much flawless. I mean, he used a channel raceway to hide all the wires underneath the desk and he even drilled holes for his keyboard and mouse and mouse pad. It doesn't even stop there. He's also got another simple setup across the room, which has a 2012 MacBook Pro. And finally, his console gaming setup featuring both a PS4 and Xbox One. But check this dope modification that he did to his 49 inch LG TV. This is sick guys. He installed a lift system, which allows him to raise and lower his TV from behind the shelf. What? That's pretty sick. I gotta say, man, you did a phenomenal job picking out the furniture and gear for your setups. 
and the attention to detail, organization, and cable management, I mean, everything was just on point. I seriously have no reason not to give you the seal of approval. And I just realized this is the first time ever on the channel that two contestants won seal of approvals in one episode. That's pretty crazy. Okay, sir, if you're watching this video and you want to claim your prize, toss an email to Setup Wars. Congratulations again. Kaser actually did a video on his entire setup. If you guys want to check that out on his channel, I'll drop a link to it down below. Thank you, Kaser, for entering. Wrapping up the episode, we got Sawyer and his interesting black and red setup. So he's a cook and he uses this setup for gaming, web browsing, and watching media. It features the X34 from Acer and another monitor up top as an overhead, which I'm not sure what the model is exactly. The desk he is using is the popular Orozi gaming desk with the chair combo and it actually has a giant mouse pad on it if you guys look closely. But they do have a few different colors and designs to choose from which I think is pretty cool. If you guys want to check it out I'll link it below. So on the desk he's got the Corsair K70 RGB keyboard and the Corsair M65 Pro mouse and for audio he's rocking a pair of Audio Engine A5 Plus speakers and the Astro A40s which he uses with his Xbox One Gears of War edition. The other headset he is using are the Corsair Voids that are hanging from his PC, which is equipped with a 6700K and a GTX 1080. The cable management can definitely use some extra work, even though most of the wires are inside the net, it's still looking a bit messy. Using something simple like a Velcro strap will help tidy up and group your PC wires together so it's not all over the place, and a few cable sleeves would help you group up the rest of the wires underneath your desk. I mean, it's going to be a lot of work to redo your cable management, so it's up to you to decide if it's worth your time. I also wouldn't recommend putting your headphones on top of the speakers like that. Instead, I would move the Xbox One console to the left side and bring down your headset on the table in place of the Xbox One. Maybe even consider buying some speaker stands so that they are positioned at ear level. These ones on Amazon work great with the A5 Pluses, so consider checking it out. I'll drop a link below. With some minor tweaks, I think that you will have an awesome setup. Thank you, Sawyer, for entering. So that wraps up this episode of Setup Wars. As always, drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. It's going to be a tough decision because, honestly, it's going to come down to the two people who won the seals. Um, I'm definitely curious on what you guys think, so make sure you guys are voting in the comment section. I'll announce the winners on my Twitter and... I seriously almost forgot my Instagram account, so make sure you follow me there if you guys want to know. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the show, toss a like. If you don't, feel free to dislike as well. And I will see you in the next one.